The first step to hand building a mug is to roll a slab. You want to make sure that it's long enough for a can or a tube to roll all the way around it. I've already done this there. So that's step one. Step two is to cut your slabs so they're even on the top, bottom, and one side. You only want to do three sides and you want to cut them evenly. So I'm using just one of my guide sticks to try to cut those really evenly on three sides. One, side two, side three. I'm going to leave that third side just uncut for now because I'm going to cut it later. Step three is to take your can or tube that's wrapped in paper, put it inside your slab, and roll it. Make sure you have some overlap. Okay, so you don't want to cut it right next to it. You want to make sure you have overlap. And then cut off the other side, and you'll try to save that for the bottom if it's big enough. So I'm going to set my tube inside there, roll it nicely, and then make sure I have a little bit of overlap. About two fingers overlap is great. Save that extra piece of slab for the bottom. Now I'm going to cut an angled joint. We call this a miter joint. So instead of going straight up and down, I kind of set it to the side, and I'm going to cut straight down. Take off those extra pieces. That gives me a little bit of extra surface area to slip and score on to have a good attachment. Now I'm going to slip and score that joint and press them together firmly. Step six is to smooth the outside of the joint. And then take the can and tube out and smooth the inside joint. So I'm going to use a plastic modeling tool or a wood modeling tool for this. And just run it along that joint up and down. A little bit of water if I need it. Take the tube out. Try to put it back together so someone else can use it. And then I'm going to work on the inside joint. This one can always be a little bit trickier. But I'm holding it on the outside with my hand to kind of brace it. And then just running a plastic modeling tool or a wood modeling tool along the side there. If it looks like cracking or like it's not coming together very nicely, you can always put a rolled up coil in there and smooth that coil in a little bit for any like spots you need. Step seven, place the cylinder on a slab and trace and cut it out. So I saved the extra bit of my um, slab from the beginning. I'm going to use that, but if you don't have that, you're going to have to do a new one. Trace that. Then score and slip the base um, and bottom of your mug and put it together. And always decide before you do both of these steps which side is the best, the top or the bottom, and um, have one of those be like the top of your mug. So press that down and then I'm going to smooth this in and just running up and down with my um, modeling tool will work. And then if you have lots of extra pieces, cutting it off, any extra, and then using either the flat side of a serrated rib or the rubber rib to kind of smooth that out. Now you have a cylinder. So you want to smooth the lip of your mug with water on your fingers or with a sponge. Just a little bit of water or slip, kind of pinching the lip in between my two fingers and just kind of smoothing them. Then if you can, try to get into that inside seam and just give it a little bit of a like smooth. So that if there's any sort of crack, you're just putting any extra slip or anything like that inside there and smoothing it. And that's it. Look at the back for how to make candles.